Namaste and welcome. I am grateful that you are here today. Um, we are seeing some action around COVID-19 and the uh, Omnicon variant B.1.1.17, I guess. Once seven was right before the new year arrives, I just thought of making a quick video around uh, how does the uh, planetary positions look like and what it could mean for all of us. And I thought it's important and time bound to share all of that with you. So there are two parts of my discussion today. One is around the astrological part, which is how the planets look like. And uh, I have uh, considered the charts of China, the overall world and uh, Kal Chakra, let's say how the time is across the globe, uh, India and few other countries as well. So I just wanted to give you an update around what is happening and what could potentially happen most likely to happen and then second part of my discussion today will be around the uh, logical predictions or happen in a more logical sense so let's get started on that so situation doesn't look great as of now i just came to know that um, italian authorities are from milan in italy they call it milano though uh, seems to have reported that there are about 50 percent positive cases of covid 19 uh, in the last two flights that have landed in uh, italy so I think uh, right now, as you see, a lot of countries have started uh, checking passengers coming in, specifically, specifically from China. So Italy, uh, United States just announced that India has already showing the preparedness and Japan has also started that. Um, looking at the overall data and the potential that could go and um, some countries are even stopping to share the data like China just announced that I think yesterday they will not be sharing any further data on the number of cases per year in terms of COVID infections. Um, UK just announced a similar thing and I'm guessing it will be more trend going forward. So the reason could be either they don't want to share or I don't know if they don't see that COVID-19 as a threat but the Omnicon variant and the, the new variant that, that we are seeing is specifically is causing the harm. You are seeing the unrest that is being propelled in China as I speak and then the kind of uh, videos that are coming up all over the social media, uh, especially around the, the lack of beds, the lack of oxygen, the crazy lines in the hospitalizations and the deaths. And of course, uh, from Beijing, the underreporting uh, of the numbers and cases, that's always the case with China. So let's get started with the first part, which is my astrological analysis part. So for China, it is more like a karma and the outcome of their actions from past. Uh, when I look at the charts, um, Rahu is in Bharni in the Fikstra, which is sort of fifth house, affecting fifth house of China. So which is in other words, uh, we see challenges in the whole progeny, the kids, education, the children, uh, elementary level education, school, fertilizations and everything else that you are seeing is probably because of that. So uh, again, in this situation, usually the planet uh, will expose the reality to the public. So even though they are trying their best to hide the numbers or back out of sharing the data itself, uh, the reality will be seen to the world through common people. And I believe this is mostly divine intervention. It is not really something which government can control. This is really beyond their control. So you will see more of videos, more of atrocities, uh, more of such negative things happening, which has been otherwise hidden, but they are, they are coming out. Now, there's a strong uh, position with China, though, again, in terms of the governing government, they do have strong combinations where it looks like that they are able to control a lot of uh, communication, which is like, I would say, internet based communication or telecommunication, which is which goes over the internet, uh, the social media, the digital media or anything which is uh, digital in nature is actually being controlled a lot. Or number two is there's a friendly support that looks like from their charts in terms of there is some friend who is helping them a lot in terms of uh, getting the necessary money into the system. So I'm guessing that's Russia more or less in terms of uh, oil or anything that 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 might be supplied by Russia to China, for instance. So that is coming as a source of revenue. Third point being there is a loss of friendship that we see in terms of their social circles or friends that China have. So that's necessarily uh, the trade part. Uh, the, it seems to be challenged a bit in terms of the overall uh, fluctuations with the economy and the things that are all these hospitalizations and expenses that they are incurring uh, is creating those sort of disturbances. So there can be uh, confusing states uh, in their partnerships, the trade deals, uh, whole global manufacturing chain can be affected as well. Honestly, in the, from an astrological standpoint, we don't see a lot of challenge in their foreign income or sources though. 
uh, they seem to have a good position in terms of uh, the clothing, textile, uh, beauty, uh, any kind of luxury goods or anything like beauty products and all of that seems very strong in terms of business for them. So overall it looks uh, an okay position in terms of the business or the money coming in from foreign sources. So all that I'm saying is valid up to let's say from now, uh, December 28th to um, March, like end of March, 23rd March onwards for instance. The time again changes after that. Again from 30 March, March onwards up till let's say September or October of 2023 the position uh, seems to be again challenged in terms of trade manufacturing or business situations but in terms of how fast they could recover from the diseases uh, the debts they would have taken hospitalization the bills and all the cost that comes with it the uh, the healthcare prices and all that seems to be somewhat in control again from an astrological standpoint and this is from valid from the 30th of march till um, end of October, let's say 30 September or even 30 October for that matter. And then according to their efforts, they will be able to recover slowly. It doesn't look like a prolonged crisis, uh, like a fourth wave really in that sense, uh, whatever we have seen in past. In here as well, uh, the kind of control they would deploy on people to control the masses and the, the unrest that is going on will be again vocal and heard in the public forum, so it will be very well visible through social media or online forums for that matter but in terms of uh, recovery it seems like a okay period for them in terms of uh, what is coming out of China. Moving on to some other countries it seems to be challenging. In terms of challenges there are other countries where as well we can foresee some challenges so Japan, Singapore, New Zealand, uh, US, Canada combined together and then some challenges in Italy or uh, Milano as well but again it will be largely will be the number of flights coming in from China to these countries guess is that by now it would have reached billions of lives it's just that it's not yet known in the public so basically the immunity levels or whatever they have in their body in terms of vaccine yes or no will, will be impacting accordingly again for India uh, the situation looks very positive uh, in terms of how their position the planet Jupiter and, and others as well it seems to be great position and preparedness to tackle such challenges including communications, hospitalizations and what happens with any kind of diseases or COVID outburst as such. In fact, this looks like a time for prosperity for India. Again, I'm talking about astrological sense or astrological viewpoint. And then uh, even if that happens, there might be small rise in cases here and there and might recover. Uh, overall, from an astrological standpoint and global standpoint, it looks like uh, this is tougher time between now and the and the March end, uh, let's say, for instance, and then we could see slowly Im slow improvements after that uh, across the globe. Uh, this, uh, in all honesty, this is not something like a, a year of uh, another COVID wave where everybody is fighting the COVID battle again. I hope it will not be a real uh, fourth wave uh, for where we will have to really revive economies or globe at a global scale unlike what has happened unfortunately in past uh, we also see some amount of relief uh, around january for the war between ukraine or the russia conflict and uh, that that has an impact on the global oil supply chain we would obviously see the uh, the greediness and the selfish behavior of different nations and it will be very vocal and can be seen through easily if you are carefully watching or observing that but uh, and there could be a lot of um, news or um, social uh, vocal you know videos around uh, the tax things which are like uh, the tax uh, related problems globally the misrepresentation of facts uh, there's some legal reforms here and there and uh, some of a uh, lot of scandals could come up actually so in my previous uh, video about India predictions, I had predicted that this is 2023 is actually a year of revelations after revelations after revelations. So you will see a lot of things which you were not hoping to see will be actually visible in public. This seems an also good period for uh, technology related businesses or companies. So for instance, uh, there's a movement of Saturn around April and again in July 2023, which will moving into its own zodiac sign. So uh, let's say Capricorn. So what happens there is that uh, you will see that uh, businesses in these areas will actually be growing and we could foresee a fine balance of uh, power between 
uh, what used to be the most powerful and what is trying to become more powerful nation across. these are some of the uh, predictions from my astrological sense now i'll just move on to my logical sense and quickly also tell you that um, th there can be divine intervention always astrology is not a mathematical science it's opinionated uh, it's like a big ocean where people like me can learn small pearls from take one or two drops from so it's not maths. Two plus two is not always four, at least in astrology, I can say. And then again, with respect to the subject, I can also tell you that there can be divine intervention all the time. And uh, I am getting a strong sense that uh, this time it is divine intervention. So if I look at logically on the situation on ground, uh, it can go in any direction, to be honest. It is not really necessary that uh, the charts or the planets would necessarily reflect that. Because if the God, the Supreme Being, I prefer to call Krishna, decides that, you know, I'm going to change it, change the world order, change it, this and that, in terms of natural calamities, act of God or whatever you want to call it, uh, this may not be applicable. And astrology can, uh, the application of astrology can vary between 0%. Let's say if, some, if the God is reincarnated on the planet Earth, it could be like really 0% of the planets affecting him or her. But if it is beyond that somebody spiritually enlightened can be like facing 10 percent of astrology for a common man it could range between 10 percent to 60 70 percent 80 percent or any level for that matter so again my logical sense tells me that uh, right now from china we are seeing this traffic moving out and as of today us has started testing i think uh, japan is testing chinese people like the flights coming in from china from 30 of this month which is two days from now India has already shown productiveness prepared they have done some mock drills and shared is a shared that news across social media which is great um, and a lot of other populated countries are like Italy already reported 50% are positive on the last two flights from China to Milano in Italy so I guess people are more prepared I think the people are moving on people have been traveling and after 8 January again I guess China and government have told that They'll be allowing them to move out freely anyway so and, and there is no further so china stopped sharing the data uk stopped sharing the data already people might have already moved out after january they'll all be moving out the time period is crucial between jan feb and march and we can see a little bit a little bit better time after that so um, the cases will obviously be rising in this time frame it could be uh, there is no reason why when people move out they will carry the virus and it will be spread across and it's airborne respiratory as we all know so uh, We will have to see how how it plays how the time answers this but again those were my two cents on the astrological part and the logical part But again in this sense my intuition says it's more about the logical part uh, I'll be surprised if planets can really play because this is something beyond uh, planet's capability which is like the supreme lord is driving this change so we will have to see i hope uh, it helps you giving getting a perspective around what can potentially happen wish you all the best namaste